a prayer like the prayers he has said every day ever since six of his loved ones were killed at Grenfell Tower. This time, Hissam Shaker is on one knee, in tribute to the parallels he has seen with the death of George Floyd and the way in which his mother, sister, brother-in-law and three nieces died. When my sister rang the fire brigade, she said, we cannot breathe. This is a similar phrase that was used with what's gone on in America. My sister and my mother lived on the 22nd floor, which is underneath the L, where it says Grenfell. Three years on, the tower's still standing, and as Hissam looks at it, he's reflecting on the system that let his family down in such a horrific way. If that was in Knightsbridge, for example, and a building was on fire, and the majority of the people were from a white background, maybe you might have got a different response, I don't know. The fact that the majority of the people living in the tower were from an ethnic background and culture, I don't feel that the urgency uh, was there. How hard has it been for you to say these things? It is very difficult and sad that uh, living in one of the most diverse countries in the world, I'm having to say this, but it's the truth. And as they say, the truth hurts. An overwhelming majority of people killed in the tower were ethnic minorities. The inquiry was asked to consider institutional racism, but hasn't included it in its terms of reference. My sister wasn't listened to on the night. We're not being listened to now. And it's the same thing playing itself over and over and again. You've got institutional racism. Um, where do you start? Suresh Grover has been an anti-racism campaigner for more than three decades. He believes the inquiry needs to examine why black and brown people were disproportionately affected by this tragedy. The government never recognized or never admitted that the reason why these families were in this tower were because of their social background and class and their ethnic origin and their race. I think it's a very important factor and I think it's been dismissed. The inquiry told us it recognises some feel strongly that social background and race played a significant role in the fire, but the chairman and prime minister agreed that the inquiry was not the best way to answer them. The London Fire Brigade says all those who responded on the night were committed to rescuing as many people as possible and that it's dedicated to fighting racism. Hamid Khani lived on the 18th floor. On the night, he followed some neighbours further up the tower to try and keep safe. His family haven't spoken out until now. Uh, he was a human being. He was not just a number that who just uh, perished in the fire and that's it. Hamid was a very witty person. He trusted everyone. He trusted the authorities. He trusted that he would be saved. Masood is also hurt that one of the very authorities who may face criminal charges in relation to Grenfell, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, is managing the victims. The Independent Task Force on Grenfell Recovery has also raised concerns about RB Casey's ability to run the recovery. You know, this is ridiculous that they put uh, uh, RKBC in charge of the recovery. Those people who have lost a loved ones, they are, they are, in my opinion, they're an important part of this equation and the system has sidelined them. I think it's scandalous that agencies who are being investigated for manslaughter, um, a criminal investigation, um, have been given the task of um, ensuring that people recover. They are responsible for um, the trauma, the magnitude of violence that was inflicted by the fire. Kensington and Chelsea Council told us the inquiry is a welcome step towards truth and justice and that Grenfell is a tragedy that should not have happened. Masood has come back to a street in Kensington where he and Hamid used to spend time together as young men when they first arrived in the country from Iran in 1979. He should be here, you know, we should be standing here together and talk about the old days 
and what we did, but he's not. And it makes me more determined to seek justice for him. And what about your feelings towards those who were responsible? Honestly, a deep down, I want to be able to forgive them, but I cannot. I just simply cannot forgive them. My mum was... a loving, caring person. I can't repay her back, you know, but the only thing that I can do is um, challenge the system, and that's something that she has given me. I think that Granfill should have been the George Floyd movement, both for the people affected to organize and for the state agencies, the government, to respond effectively and properly. And why wasn't it? Because I think the government is institutionally incapable of dealing with racism properly because it doesn't want to see it. But the killing, the death of 72 people should have woken it up. The inquiry returns next month when it will continue to examine the underlying causes of the fire.